Okay, uh, now we want to talk about the minor keys. We have been talking only about the major keys and we have been playing mostly in C, C major key. So we are familiar with the uh, notes of the C major scale that are the notes of C major key as well. And we know uh, all the seven chords uh, that we construct from the C major scale. Those seven chords uh, are used in the C major key. And we know very well the six of them, but the seventh, the uh, diminished chord, uh, is so rarely used in pop rock music that we only mentioned it. But the six uh, first six chords are widely used and we have been using them in our musical examples. Okay, so the C major key has a relative minor key. And the thing here is, very interesting thing here is that the relative minor key has the exactly same notes as, as the relative major key. So C major key, we know the notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. <laughs> so we know the notes. Those notes uh, uh, construct the key. Uh, there is a, a minor key that uses these exact same notes. And it is the A minor. A minor key. So C major and A minor are relative keys. Um, so let's check it out from the G position. Here's the C major chord in G position. Here's the scale. Okay, we all know that already. Then if we want to play play it but play it as A minor. All the notes are the same, the shape of the scale is the same. The only difference is that we start from A, and the roots are now A notes. There's three of them. And the chord, one chord, home chord, is A minor. Okay, so now we play the a scale starting from A. It sounds minor uh, immediately because we start from A and the one chord, the sound behind the scale is A minor. But what's important is that all the notes are the same as the notes from the C major scale. And uh, what's more important actually is that all the, uh, all the chords are the same also. So, we know the chords of the C major, we know the arpeggios of those chords, so we can use them to create interesting melodies and improvise. Well, because the chords remain the same, now we know all the chords of the key A minor also, because the chords remain the same. Only, um, only the order of the chords do change, because now this A minor is the one chord. And uh, it's written in uh, lower cases, um, so that it's the minor. And um, okay, we start from A minor. The two chord of the A minor key is uh, B diminished. Okay, that's the two chord of the key. It 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 isn't used as often as as the rest of them. The three chord is the C major major. And then uh, the four chord is a D minor, and the five chord is E minor, and uh, uh, six chord is uh, very much used in the minor key. The sixth chord it's the F major, and then there's the seventh uh, seventh chord, which is the G major, very much used also. So uh, A minor. 
G major, which is the seventh chord, F major, which is the sixth chord, chord are widely used. Okay, uh, but of course you want to know the three chord, which is the C major, and also the four and five chords, which are the D minor and E minor. So the order of the chords now is different compared to C major. That's that's pretty much the only difference there is because the scale is the same, the scale shape is the same, uh, and the chords and arpeggios are exactly the same. So there isn't that much to learn uh, when it comes to minor keys. We already kind of know them. So let's take another example, G major. Uh, G major is a key guitarists use quite often, and many guitarists are familiar with the G major. And uh, the notes are uh, uh, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G again. So, now we want to find out what is the relative minor key of the G major. And it's very easy. So, so let's go back to uh, C major. Uh, the A minor is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's the sixth uh, note of the scale and sixth chord of the key. So we count now from G, 6 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we get the E note. So the E minor. That's uh, the relative minor key of G major. So G major, E minor, they have all the same notes. And all the chords are the same in G major and E minor. All the arpeggio shapes are the same. And the only difference again is that uh, when you are in G major key, G is of course the one chord and you count from there. G, A minor, and uh, B minor, C, D, and so on. Uh, but when you start from E minor, that's uh, now your one chord if you're in E minor key. That's the one chord. Then the two chord is the diminished, and then the three chord is um, is the uh, relative major key, so G. And then there's a, um, a A minor, B minor, and then there's uh, these two uh, major chords that are the sixth chord is the. C and the seventh chord is the D and then back again to E minor. Okay, and so you can do this to any other key as well. D, D major key, what is the uh, relative minor? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the B note, so it's the B minor. D major, D major, and B minor. Relative keys and they have the exact same notes, exact same chords, arpeggios. So, you can do this to every major key, find the rel relative minor, and, uh, and uh, they share these same elements. It makes it so much easier to then learn these minor keys, because you probably know many of the major keys very well. And uh, if not, you are going to. <laughs> so. Keep in mind this relative minor and major uh, re relationship and that it makes your day so much easier. <laughs> and uh, now we are going to take a progression, um, a backing track from A minor. It's a minor key now and uh, we're going to play over it and uh, see how it feels and sounds. <laughs> 